you can see those two red hash marks on the right hand side. I've got a very narrow depth of field. I will then close the lens down to f2 and you'll see that those hash marks move a little bit further apart because now at f2 we have a little bit more depth of field. And I'm just going to work my way through the rest of this lens and you can see with every change those hash marks get just a little bit wider at every one. It's not a huge difference between each one. And so every time you change that aperture, you're changing your depth of field. Now, once again, I am controlling the shutter speed to make sure that the ruler is letting in the correct amount of light. But you'll notice down at the bottom of the ruler where it says number 1, number 2, and 34, and 35, it's still pretty soft. As we change down to f16 and f22, they're going to become much sharper. And so each step can make a little bit of a difference. It's not a huge difference, once again. It's just a little bit more and a little bit more. And once again, some lenses can go to f32, f64 maybe. And so here we are at f22. The 50 millimeter lens is stopped down as much as possible. And that's as much as depth of field as we can get out of the 50 millimeter lens focused on that number seven. And so once again, just to you know, make sure that you're hammer, I'm hammering this point home that you're getting it, you open up that lens to 1.4, you're going to get a very shallow depth of field. 